before we start this video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. I wouldn't be able to keep doing these videos without you guys, so thank you so much for all your support. It means so much to me. Um, I would also like to say thanks to Code Gorilla, Richter and Joshua for their tier free sub. And special thanks to James, Michael, Justin and Sean for their tier 4 sub this month. So let's get started on this A star tutorial. The first thing we need to do is to create a new project and we are going to make a 2D project and this is just a brand new 2D project without any changes. Um, the only thing I've done is that I've added the sprites that we need to create this, uh, this tutorial or to complete the tutorial. Um, if you go to my itch.io page you should be able to click the A star pathfinding and download a folder called sprites um, and that sprite folder contains all the sprites that are right here. If you're not interested in, in uh, doing that, you can also get um, the tiles for free by going to my itch.io page. Uh, there's a link in the description below and click the tile map here. This tile map contains um, all the, the, the tiles that I use uh, that you see here on this, this picture here. So you can use um, those, download those tiles and use them throughout this tutorial to follow along. Um, the only thing that is not there um, is, let's see here, is the um, check uh, flag here and the debug icon and the reset and the step. So these are just some icons you can find on Google or something if, if you wanna wanna do that. I also have a um, white tile here. It's just a white uh, tile with a square around it. Um, you can also create that yourself in Paint or Photoshop or something. That's, that's nothing important. Uh, I just don't wanna clutter the tile map files here with all those debug files that are not used for the tile map. So um, go and download the tile map and then you can create or download these from Google or something or make some, some placeholders if you want to. The first thing I'd like to do is to create our tile map. So to do that we select create, 2D object and select a tile map. It will create a grid and a tile map for us and we will need to draw something on that tile map so that we can see our sprites here. To draw something on the map, we select Tile Palette in the top right corner. If the Tile Palette is not showing, um, I think you can go to Window and find 2D and Tile Palette here. And we'll open it up and then you can uh, um, adjust it and put it here next to the inspector if you want to. Anyway, we need to create a Tile Palette as well. So we cl click Create, a New Tile Palette. And we give it a name, let's call it um, Grid. I know our tiles just and just leave these things as, as is and click create. This will open up the dialog for creating a new tile palette and I think I'm going to put it into a new folder called palettes because you might have more palettes and there we go. So um, we have something called palettes and there's our tile palette. Okay. So now we need to add tiles to this palette and to do that we need to take a sprite and drag it onto it but I would like to change the size of these tiles first all my tiles here um, needs to be adjusted in size because right now they're very big. If I would add these, they would take up way too much space. And I can actually show you if you take all these tiles here. Um, let's say gold, gold, grass, grass, grass path. Yeah. If we would do like this, see, and if I try to draw this on my um, world here, let's see if we can find tile map there you'll see that they are going to be very way too big right that's not what I want I would like to draw these in a smaller size and you could adjust the tile map and everything but another thing would also be to select all the tiles right here and go to an inspector and set the pixels per unit to 300 for example when I do that the tiles will shrink in size which means when I select my pencil tool here, or pencil brush, I think, I guess, here, and start to draw on my map here, the size is different. However, now you can see the tiles are not adjusted, correct? So you need to select the tile map, go to the inspector, and then we need to select, oh, actually it's the grid, yeah, the cell size here on the grid can be adjusted so that it fits your needs, okay? and the grid size would be 1.33 in this case 1.33 and 1.33 both in x and y if we say 34 i think it's going to be too big yeah then you can see a gap between them so 1.33 when the size is set to 300 pixels per unit this way of doing it is all good as long as we just need to draw a map and use that in our game 
But in our case, we would need to draw a map and we need to be able to manipulate with that map during our game, for example, drawing water and a path on the on the tiles. And the easiest way to do that is actually to create our own tile that we can manipulate with during our gameplay. And this is the thing that makes it different um, than a normal tutorial just for the tile map because we need to implement A star. And what we're doing now has nothing to do with the actual A star. It's just something we add on top of it. So it's easier for us to see how the A star works. So we don't need these tiles actually. We would need to create our own. So we can go to the tile palette and select edit and select um, the, um, what is it called, eraser and then delete these and we need to remove edit then and then go here and select the tiles you just created and delete them again because this is not how it's going to work we can select the eraser again and um, eraser tool there and go over here and delete them as well okay so we need to create our own tile let's make a new folder here called scripts oops that's not a folder that's just a script so right click create folder and inside scripts I would like to create a new script finally called um, let's call a star tile so this is our own tile and it doesn't need a lot of code we just need the tile so that we can manipulate with it during our gameplay and this would make, make it way easier for us than using a standard tile so how does an a star tile look well we actually just need to create our own tile um, that we can use in our, our game so it needs to inherit from tile and we can right click on tile quick actions and say using unity engine the tile maps if you can't do that you can just write this line of code by yourself delete the other usings we don't need um, and then delete these I think we need to use unity engine as least using unity engine like that and then we make it public oh no we don't we don't need to make a public class because we have it right there we make a tag like this open close square brackets create asset menu then we open a parentheses and we want a file name so right file name is let's call it new a star tile and what menu the menu name is going to be under tiles slash a star tile and that's it that's all we need to create our own tile because it inherits from tile so it has its own um, what is called parent so we can save this if you want more tiles for your experiment you can always um, re readjust the tiles as we showed before with the pixels per unit here or you can take your grid and I think you can just move it like this yeah like that so it goes more to the side and then you can actually take this and and draw an extra line without it goes over the buttons the reason I want some blue space here is because I want to put my buttons down here and don't want them to go over the tile map um, you can also do the same in the bottom if you want to you can take the grid click this one and adjust it upwards and then select the tile map and draw if you have more tile maps it's important that um, you have selected the right tile map here this is tiles if if there are more tile maps um, Oh, sorry here the active tile maps the one you're drawing on so if I had this one called uh, two for example I would need to select two here to be able to draw on that other one just in case if you have having problems drawing something it might be because you have more tile maps and you haven't selected the right one um, so now we have our grid of our own tiles the next thing we need to do is to add our buttons the last thing we need to do is to add our buttons here on the side so let's do that let's um, go to create and select UI and select a button and this button needs to be uh, have text on because or actually don't need text because we're just going to use icons then we need to set a size um, let's say 90 by 90 let's see how that looks out here I guess that's fine size wise then put it in the top and then we need to right click on canvas and select a empty game object called buttons I just like to have order in my things so that I can collapse the buttons if I want to and this button is start and we need to add a canvas so add a vertical layout group so not a canvas a vertical layout group to our buttons with S um, and this layout group is going to decide the uh, spacing between our buttons so the child alignment would be middle uh, upper center 
select the buttons and then if you have selected it and mouse over there and press F it will find it there then we can take it and move the buttons over here to the top where you want it and then you can actually select this one to adjust the size of this there we go and if you just select the buttons button start button now and duplicate it to four six so we have eight two three four five six eight seven eight there we go so now we have eight and you can see now these buttons are going to be way too big for us to be able to have them here on the screen no matter what so we can select all of them and take the size and put it to 80 times 80 instead it's maybe a little too so let's say 75 75 mm, 70 70 yeah I guess that's better and then you can take our buttons and you can take the top alignment and move it down so it aligns with maybe the the grid here if you want to um, and you can adjust everything, the spacing between them, you can adjust that if you want to, so that it aligns with the top and the bottom, it's up to you. So you can just adjust these values until it looks like uh, the way you want it. So the first one is start, the next one is go, the third one is going to be water, this one is going to be grass, and then we are going to have our step, and our, um, yeah, what is that one called, complete, to complete the path. And we're going to have our erase or reset and our debug button. So all of these would need a an image. And looking back, we should have added the image before we created these. So I'm just going to right click on start, say UI and select an image. I'm going to scale it down here. And select the sprite, let's call it grass, and select the grass tile you want, this one. And then I'm going to delete all these again and duplicate start. So we have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to name them one more time because I like to do the same things over and over again. And grass and step and complete and uh, reset oh. and debug okay sorry about that redundant work then you select um, actually we need this one we just select it and find start and move start goal we'll also need to click there and find goal and water we'll also need to click there and find our water somewhere Let's see if we have that some water looks this one zero and then we select the grass and that's the right one already this one is going to be step and complete is going to be the, the gold flag somewhere and reset is just the arrows and then we have our debug in the end there okay so now our buttons are all set up um, I think that's what I want to do in this video just to set up everything so that we can start manipulating uh, with these things in the next video so Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.